Taipei, bustling capital city of Taiwan, has traffic problems. But a master plan to solve these problems is well advanced. The Department of Rapid Transit Systems, DORTS, has developed a comprehensive rail network of five lines covering an approximate distance of 80 kilometers. Project CC560, the Chung'e Line, runs entirely below ground. Its tunnels connect four stations, Dingxi at the northern end, Yung'an Market, Qing'an, and the terminus Nanxi Chao with its adjoining train depot. Work began in June 1992. The contract is a joint venture between Billfinger and Berger, one of Germany's most respected construction companies, and Eastern Construction Company, one of the largest of its kind in Taiwan. The roads in this area are narrow, and as the line follows several of them, some demolition was required before work could begin. The stations are being built using the cut and cover method. This operation requires a diaphragm wall up to 60 meters deep to be constructed before excavation. The presence of buildings right next to the site demanded extreme care. The same care was used with other structures in close proximity to the works, where excavation and tunneling takes place in ground which is a mixture of sand, clay and silt. Road bridges were strengthened by high-pressure grouting. The bridges were closely monitored as the work proceeded to detect any ground movement. Some buildings along the line's route were so close that mini-piles, deep boreholes grouted under high pressure, were needed to stabilize and strengthen the ground around and beneath their foundations. Again, this operation was all part of the joint venture company's strategy of keeping disturbance to property to an absolute minimum. The strategy itself formed part of a much larger overall program of quality assurance, strictly enforced in Taiwan, and carried out by the joint venture company to the highest international standards. Traffic flow was hardly affected by the works. At each site, temporary steel decking was installed at an early stage, so that the traffic could move at its usual speed while station construction proceeded below it. Another problem with the restricted working area is that essential utilities, like water pipes, gas mains and electric cables, have to be diverted or replaced with the least interruption to services. At the four stations, massive temporary steel girders are installed to brace the diaphragm walls, which form a reinforced concrete box all round each site and allow excavation to continue downwards. Taipei is built on what was once a lake bed, composed of layer upon layer of sand and clay. Through one of these clay layers, most of the tunneling and excavation for the Chung'e line is taking place. Nearly one million cubic meters of clay will have to be removed before station building can start. In Germany, the 6.3-meter diameter cutting wheel of the tunnel boring machine is put through tests. These machines are manufactured at the Herrenknecht Works. They are earth pressure balanced shield driving machines, and three of them are currently boring the tunnels of the Chung'e line. In the northern port city of Keelung, the first of the machines has arrived. The giant cutting wheel with its hardened steel teeth can be turned in either direction according to tunneling conditions and can be broken down into five pieces for easy replacement of parts. These earth pressure balanced machines represent the latest in tunnel boring technology. The massive components, when assembled, give each machine an all-up weight of 200 tons and an overall length of 50 meters.
The machine's size would create traffic chaos if they were moved by daylight through Taipei's narrow streets. So the problem is minimized by transporting them to the site in the small hours of the morning when traffic is lightest. Later, they are lowered piece by piece down the access shafts and put together at the point where tunneling will start. The tunnel boring machines are the key components in an assembly of men and materials and engineering know-how that will revolutionize the way Taipei goes about its business and its leisure. The Chung'e Line project is the largest contract in the rapid transit system and it will affect the lives of millions. At the CSR Concrete Products Precast Factory at Miao Li, near Taipei, a specially built assembly line produces the reinforced concrete tunnel lining segments, which will be installed as the tunnel boring machines drill their way through the clay. Nearly 40,000 of these segments will be needed for the 6.4 kilometers of tunnel. Space limitations do not allow them to be stored on site, so they remain in storage in the factory yard until needed. The segments are delivered to the site. 25 centimeters thick, they're designed to be bolted together and are fitted with water sealing rubber gaskets. At the tunnel entrance, the segments are loaded onto the work train that will deliver them to the tunnel boring machine. Each delivery consists of five full-sized one meter wide segments and a smaller keystone, which is positioned last. When assembled on the tunnel wall, they form a complete one meter wide ring, 5.6 meters in diameter. When the Chung'e line is finished, ultra-modern six-car trains will pass through these tunnels with a frequency of one every 65 seconds at peak hours, moving up to 50,000 people an hour in each direction. The tunnels are configured either in twin form, which means they run side by side, or stacked, which means running one above the other. The tunnels are interconnected at 300 meter intervals by passageways. This is a safety feature for use in an emergency. While tunneling proceeds, spoil from the excavation chamber behind the cutter head is mixed with bentonite and pumped back through a pipeline to the collector hopper above ground at the access shaft. At the tunnel boring machine, the segments and keystone for one complete ring are loaded onto the segment feeder by means of a traveling hoist. The position of the keystone in the ring determines the direction of the tunneling, whether straight ahead or deviated left or right, up or down. The segments are now arranged in sequence to be applied to the tunnel wall. With the tunnel boring machine stopped, thrust jacks are withdrawn from the previously installed ring. The operator-controlled erector arm hoists each segment into position on the tunnel wall. The thrust jacks are extended to compress them against the last ring. Each circular assembly of segments is secured by curved banana bolts to make a rigid shell. Any space between this shell and the tunnel bore is filled by grout pumped in under pressure, which then sets like concrete. <laughs> to continue boring, the thrust jacks are employed against the last ring to drive the tunnel boring machine forward. Tunneling proceeds at a rate of up to 38 meters in a 24-hour period. 
the work train emerges from the tunnel to pick up another set of segments, a journey to be made hundreds of times before the work is finished. The tunnel boring machine has stopped at the diaphragm wall of one of the stations. The breakthrough is carried out manually, exposing the cutter wheel. The machine will now be dismantled and its parts taken out for delivery to the next tunneling location. Under certain conditions, the shield will remain where it is and form part of the tunnel lining. The used cutter assembly will go up to the service area for repair. As Taipei's traffic moves out of one gridlock towards the next, newly serviced tunnel boring machine components are made ready to go down the access shaft to commence the next bore. The city's rapid transit system is an immense and far-sighted investment which gives clear evidence of the strength of Taiwan's economy and its faith in the future. Massive quantities of material have gone underground to provide a public transport facility that will meet the challenges of the 21st century. When the line is completed, it will form part of one of the most advanced integrated rail systems in Asia. The work goes forward, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and Taipei draws nearer to a lasting solution to its traffic problems.